Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And could we be looking at the end of Minecraft YouTube? Well, if they do this and that's the case, they're going to be looking at the end of a lot of sales. Yeah, so Minecraft became popular thanks in huge part to Let's Plays on YouTube. Exactly. Uh, thanks in part to the mod community. Thanks in part to people having private servers. And now Microsoft, Mojang, is really cracking down on how you can use Minecraft, the usage with their uh, end user license agreement changes, the EULA changes, and people are pissed because they're very nebulous and it sounds to me like they could pull the plug on any user generated Minecraft content at any point in time. Well, someone, one person complains, they can pull the plug on you. Absolutely. And again, the only reason people give a shit about Minecraft, the only reason it's having resurgence now is because of, I would say, YouTubers and Twitch yep. streamers and people yep. that play it online. Otherwise, people, they, people stop playing it. No one's going to care. They're all going to forget about it and move on to something else. That is true. So let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. You'll get a woohoo. Okay, woohoo. I was waiting for my, you'll get a woohoo. You'll get a woohoo. Why they want to prematurely woohoo? Nobody wants to prematurely woohoo, but sometimes you can't help it because it's well, just I don't have that problem. So exciting. Go out to Clownfish Gaming. Clownfish Gaming is our other channel, which we're going to be beefing up again here. I actually have a 24-7 uh, stream of past videos, including a lot of Minecraft content, but it's not and actually... it's funny Minecraft content. It's funny Minecraft content. So you can actually go out there right now and watch uh, some of our Minecraft videos from a couple of years ago. We had, uh, My Minecraft and Animal Crossing were kind of our, our pandemic... Uh, pastimes. We have a lot of videos out there, but um, this could be the end of Minecraft YouTube if they continue to push it. Uh, this is coming from Dot Esports. Minecraft players outraged after EULA changes introduced massive restrictions. They said that they quietly changed their uh, EULA, the end user license agreement. That sounds like something dirty. I'm sorry. EULA? It just like, does. Oh my God, guys. I saw her EULA. It, th it does. I'm just saying. But uh, some people are saying that they're going full 1984 as a return oh to God. exceptionally strict content guidelines. This is stupid. Uh, Mojang announced the EULA update in a blog, but it didn't share it anywhere else. So it was on the download, which is why some players aren't even aware of these changes yet. The update to the EULA is the first one in three years, with the last one being launched in 2020. So this is rock solid, and I might go out to their uh, Twitter thread. In other news, Minecraft has gone full 1984 with EULA changes, and they've made every single Minecraft server commercial. Uh, you know, this is not good. These are some of the changes. You can go out and read the blog post. I'll put a link to it, I think, in the description. But uh, Minecraft Java servers have insane restrictions, among other things now. Servers with player queues, such as 2B2T, are now banned. Any server piece of online content, such as video or other, may be taken down due to any reason whatsoever. Using Minecraft in the title as a significant part of a creative work, such as a YouTube video. This is colossally fucking stupid. Yeah. And they deserve everything they get because no one cares about Minecraft. They care because they keep seeing people play it on streams, on Twitch, on YouTube. And it was going downhill and then it got bounced back. People started playing it again yeah. because of that. That is really stupid. It's something but free advertising for you. Yes. Servers with any content not suitable for 10-year-olds are now prohibited. They also proceeded to state that they're now allowed to change the guidelines, and it's your responsibility to check them. Illegal under EU law, all servers need to add a not an official Minecraft product and a terms of service clause upon joining for the first time. In-person Minecraft events cannot be marketed using Minecraft assets such as logos or fonts. You can't use the font. Even if you call it something different. Even if you call it something different. Fictional story writers are not allowed to include Minecraft brands or assets, fonts, or images. In-person Minecraft events like LAN parties are no longer allowed to engage in sponsorships if said event is to take money. This, of course, is subject to change of Mojang, uh, as Mojang puts it, which really means no how much criticism we receive for these decisions and judging by close to zero coverage. That's um, what they're hoping for. They're hoping. they're hoping no one's going to know. Well, guess what? That just blew up in your face because now they're going to know. Yeah, the changes are being called out as concerning, especially by players who run Minecraft servers. In a Reddit post breaking down what all the prominent EULA updates mean for the future of Minecraft, one player and server owner said the changes 
discourage existing server owners and upcoming server owners from wanting to play Minecraft anymore since the new guidelines give Mojang full control over shutting down years of hard work for any reason whatsoever. Mm Mm-hmm. You can you might not have violated anything, but because one person didn't like it and complained, they're going to shut you down. And the ten year old, uh, as we see, a ten year old. Well, I mean, a lot of adults play Minecraft. So I, unless people mark things like you know on YouTube that it's not for kids, which a lot of times people do, I don't know what else to tell you. I am waiting for them to go full Nintendo because Nintendo. Well, actually, it sounds like it's more overreaching than than. Nintendo. It's way, it sounds way worse than Nintendo. But Nintendo had a fit about let's play of its content and you had to do a 50 50 split revenue split with them. And then they finally walked it back after their sales took a hit. Yeah. And that's, what's, I mean, like I said, Minecraft is being played because people like Fortnite, Fortnite took off too, because people were playing it yes. online. Yes. These games take off when people that are gaming, gaming YouTubers, gaming Twitch people, they're, they're streaming it. They're playing it. And these, and these mostly kids are watching it. And then they want to go play the game too. You do this. It's going to bite you in the ass. You might as well go hug a creeper at this point. Uh, Does he like to eat ass? No, but he explodes. So take that as you will. In your ass? (laughs) Maybe. No, you're allowed to do that now. (laughs) You can't do that. It's not suitable for 10-year-olds. So I I can see the DNA here because we were talking about Wizards of the Coast and the people they have running Wizards of the Coast now running Dungeons & Dragons and Magic come from Microsoft. And they were trying to do this kind of crap with the OGL. Are they going to send the Pinkertons after server owners? Are they going to send the Pinkertons after? Yeah, because it's the same same mentality here, right? Um, they said, the line in the EULA that addresses this reads, all permissions and consent are given by us at our discretion and may be revoked at any time if we think it's appropriate to do so or we don't like what you are doing. But we're not giving you a rubric again. It's like Patreon again. Or we don't it's like know. Patreon. Here's what you can't do specifically if we don't like it because we decide it. Uh, any server that has some form of a player queue, such as the highly popular two builders, two tools server, no longer complies with Minecraft's EULA rules. According to the EULA, access to any server can't be limited to or controlled directly or indirectly by a player owning or having access to out-of-game content, products, or services. Uh, however, you, how you use the term Minecraft in the content you create, this is where it gets sticky for YouTubers. How you use the term Minecraft in the content you create is now regulated too. Players cannot use the Minecraft name as the primary or dominant name or title in their creative work. Since this is confusing and vague, Mojang provided a few examples. Titles like Kotaba Miners, a Minecraft server for redstone bills, or The Shaft, a Minecrafter's podcast, are okay. Titles like Minecraft, the ultimate Kotaba server for redstone, or Minecraft, the ultimate help app, are not approved. So long as you don't put Minecraft first. Yeah, and I got to wonder, what's going to happen to all those bootleg Minecraft uh, Kindle books they have on Amazon? Well, they always I keep seeing them at garage sales. I, I kind of want to know what's going to happen to people who have had videos up for years. Do you have to go change every title, or is this like active from like this point on who the hell are knows? they gonna be like oh well that happened 10 years ago but we're taking it now well okay so if they get together with youtube it could be matt they'll use bots because this is what happened with people that had live streams years ago some of them were private and they were going through with the bots and finding objectionable content by current year rules and banning people or taking their monetization away because they said things that they weren't allowed to say current year. But you could then. But you could then. And even in a lot of those cases, those videos were were private. But because you did it, and a lot of people forgot about them, like, okay, I made my live stream private, whatever. They can go in and find it. Obviously, they're YouTube. And they'll be like, oh, you said the N-word in this broadcast, you know, 10 years ago. So now on we're On a gonna, video that no one can see. On a video that no one can see. And now we're going to take your monetization or we're going to boot you off the platform or something. All Minecraft servers must be suitable for all ages with no exceptions. There was recently a controversy involving the server Grand Theft Minecraft, which sounds like a hell of a lot of fun, where Mojang rules against allowing guns on servers, and now this seems to apply to any content deems unacceptable for all ages moving forward. There are a lot of other new rules under this uh, update. EULA and players who are aware of them have been asking Mojang to reverse them since they were implemented due to how vague and restrictive they are. Nah, guys, what they'll do, they'll walk some of it back to make you think that, oh yeah, we're listening to the fans, we really are. And then they're gonna they're gonna put the kibosh on. Basically, they don't want anybody using Minecraft outside of approved channels. Minecraft was like the biggest, like kind of open sandbox game phenomenon ever. 
And then once Microsoft got their mitts into it, they're pulling a Disney and they're like, yeah, you're not going to sell. Oh, shocker. Any. Who would have thought that was yeah, going to happen? You're not going to, you're only going to, you know, buy official approved Minecraft uh, updates, official approved Minecraft product. You're going to go to the official approved Minecraft cons. You're going to go to the official, whatever. And there's so much fan content out there and they hate it because they don't get a cut. That's yeah. the whole thing. Well, the is. thing is, by by cutting that, they're going to take a lot of cuts because they're not going to they're going to lose business, like a lot of business, because people aren't going to if they aren't having the videos to watch, they're not going to know you fucking exist. They're going to forget about you, move on to somebody, some, the next game that people are playing and are allowed to play. I mean, look, let, let's be honest. Since uh, Microsoft bought bought Minecraft, it's it's kind of past its prime, but it, it was you know saw a resurgence in popularity. A lot of people still play it, but it's it's going to become a very corporate product and uh, they're going to do what they're going to do. And unfortunately it was built on the backs of all these fans, all these gamers, all these modders for years. And we've seen this time and time again, same with D and D same thing. Like the reason it's so popular now is because of the fan generated content. And now you guys are like, Hey, that's pretty cool. We should be getting a cut of all that. And now you're going to kill the golden goose. I mean, you know? for the most part, most servers are going to be friendly for 10 and under. I mean, you can't control what players do. Like there'll be assholes in every place, every place you go. I mean, you can't control what they well, do. Well, then the next thing will be like, yeah, you have to. Uh, all the servers have to be hosted through our official channels, and well, and it's gonna. They, congratulations, gonna, you're just gonna choke your chicken to death. You can't do that. You can't have fun with it because you choked it to death. Good luck. Good, you know, good luck. Good job. You know, I hope everybody goes and roasts your asses because that's what you need. Go, yeah, go creeper on your ass and call it a day. Yeah. Yeah, so there it is, guys. Send this could, you to the netherworld. <laughs> they're going to send you to the netherworld. Uh, we'll see what kind of effect this has on Minecraft's popularity. I think it's going to absolutely kill its popularity online. And there's no incentive. They're going to send it to the netherworld? <laughs> send it to the netherworld. It's not, there's no incentive for a content creator to even go there now because you're, you're rolling the dice. You don't know if you're going to get zonked or not. You don't know if in another year they're going to have more restrictive guidelines and you've built your whole business or whatever on, on Minecraft content and it could all end tomorrow. Mm -hmm. but, so. So, so, but then, so you take that away from them and so do go all their subscribers and viewers too. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go, guys. A lot of people watch these videos too, to see how to do things. Like yeah. how do you make this or how do you do that? Or how do you, you craft this type of thing? Or how do you make like things move or whatever? They would watch these videos. And I know our kids did for years and they know how to do it themselves, but for years they would like, how do I make this? And they go watch these videos to see how. Well, they have to be fuming at, I mean, as much uh, uh, brand recognition as guys like Dan TDM gave them early on, they have to be fuming because, you know, th these Minecraft YouTubers are out there, you know, stampy too. And the, the whole, there's like a whole generation of they these still, guys. They still doing it? I think so. But, I don't even know. It's been but years. they were creating like their own kind of personas that, you know, had the, the voxel look to them and they looked like Minecraft characters, but they weren't technically Minecraft characters. And they were, you know, selling plushies and they were going on tour and they're doing all stuff. And Microsoft has to be looking at that like, uh, nah, -uh, nah, -uh. everything's got to be official. Everything's got to be. You can't even use the fucking font. You can't even use the, the font. font. I know that's insane. the font. You can't use the font. This reminds me of a few years ago. Um, this, I'm not trying to crap on Steel City Con again. It was under different management then. But I know it was one guy we knew was coming as uh someone who's going to table an artist alley and they had put a picture of the logo of still city con, but their picture saying they were coming on like social media yeah. or something like that. So people knew they were coming to that event and they got in trouble and threatened that they would be banned from the con. If they didn't remove it because they didn't, ha they weren't allowed to put the, the logo of the con by their name saying they were going there. Yeah. Th th it was and then they said, I'm never going back there again. Cause that was ridiculous. Cause their other con let me do it. Yeah. This is, this is insane. It's and overreach. If, Game developers were smart. It, look, I understand you want to protect your image, your brand image. And the thing is, they're trying to be like, oh, yeah, Minecraft is a family-friendly educational tool. You know, that's how they've been pushing it. And I understand you want to keep that squeaky clean image. I get it. But you're only as big as you are. You're only worth what you were worth, what they paid Notch, because of fan content, fan-generated mm -hmm. content, and modders, and that's the only reason Minecraft is worth it. I don't know how worth. they're going to police this. They're, it's so I, broad. It's going to be impossibly hard to police. Yeah. I'm just saying, I mean, that's the first thing that struck, struck out to me was yeah. that it was, it, how are you going to make sure of this, all of this? How are you going to, you're going to have to hire as many people? It's not going to be financially feasible. They're Microsoft. They've got like infinite money. I know, so. but they want to they put into that. 
Yeah. That they were going to take money and spend a whole lot of money on something. They want to put it to efforts like that. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Probably because a lot of moms complained. That's probably, yeah. A lot of Karen's complained. And I mean, I get it. I'm a mom. And you don't want your you don't want your kids, like little kids on places that people are saying, they're learning, hey, mom, what's this mean? And they, you know, um, My, what's it mean? What's the rim job? And stuff like that, you know? They, Timmy, Timmy went on to the Grand Theft Minecraft. Yeah. And, and I get it. I mean, as a mom and a teacher, I get where you're coming from. But I'm also like, you know, then there should be like a list of like, these are designated or just tell parents, okay, only go to ones that are designated that we, we say these are, are, are age appropriate or whatever. Well, they are, but know. they're doing that. They're, but they're, they're making everybody, yes, you know, and the yes. thing is, it's like, but it's not feasible. So what is going to happen? I'm going to tell you, Microsoft, what is going to happen is that somebody, maybe it'll be Notch because I know he's working on some something else right now. Somebody is going to come up with a Minecraft alternative and they're going to be like, have at it, fam. Have at it. All well, these people move to Roblox and stuff. Yeah, all these. Know? Well, and they're they're Fortnite, cracking down. They're like cracking that. down too. The more corporate these things get, the more control there is over the the <laughs> fan generated content. The more you squeeze, the more star systems will slip through your fingers. That's exactly it. And gamers will move on to the next thing. Yep. So there we go. Anyway, there it is. Good so, luck with that. Have fun. Gonna wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.